And now, for this morning's featured speaker. With every role he plays, Dennis Quaid upholds his place as one of the most charismatic actors of our time. Quaid received honors from the New York Film Critics Circle and the Independent Spirit Awards as the Best Supporting Actor of the Year, and also garnered nominations for a Golden Globe Award and Screen Actors Guild Award. Our speaker is committed to using his influence and has become an advocate for improving the safety of medication use systems. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Dennis Quaid. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Everybody having a good time yet? At nine in the morning? People in the back? <laughs> Looks like a football game, all the flash bulbs going off. <laughs> thank you, Lene, for that uh, lovely introduction. And thank you for having me here today, all of you. And I'm sure a few of you may have a nagging question. Why is he here? <laughs> He's not a pharmacist. He's an actor. In fact, I don't think I've even seen him play a pharmacist in the movies <laughs> or on TV. Well, you're right about that. But my family has been affected by an egregious medical error that could have changed our lives forever. But the reason that I am here is to fully support your programs, such as the ASHP Pharmacy Technician Initiative and continuing education programs for pharmacists and technicians that can prevent these catastrophic errors from happening. And I want God bless you for all of your work. So I thank you for the opportunity to be here today and tell you the story of what happened to our newborn twins Thomas Boone and Zoe Grace. Yes, it's a typical response. In their near tragic hospital stay, and give you an update on what these two beautiful children, they're now, they just turned two years old, what they've accomplished in their short lives pertaining to advances in patient safety and the reduction of medical errors. Because of the horrible event that happened to them when they were only 10 days old, public awareness about the pervasiveness of hospital errors has been raised. This has led to some astounding changes at Cedars-Sinai Hospital, which is the hospital where the babies were being treated. I really like that picture. That's a good one. They're always smiling. She's, uh, I think she's going to be president one day. And he's always running for mayor. He's always got a smile on his face. They never have a bad day. But because, because of T. Boone and ZG, many lives will be saved and families will benefit from their ordeal. But these changes would not be possible without you good people who lead hospital pharmacies and medication safety programs, find ways to reduce harm, and act on them. Because of your work, countless lives have been saved. Because of your leadership and implementation of safe practices, we are now in a new age of health care. And so up front, I and my family want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Before the medical error that happened to T. Boone and Zigi, as we call them, I was probably, like most people, in my attitude and awareness of medical errors. Sure, I, I'd had my, uh, I heard my share of hospital horror stories but they were mostly secondhand or articles in a newspaper or on TV. They happened to somebody else. Uh, and I'd had my portion of hospital stays for tonsils as a child. I had a broken leg as a teenager. I had a double hernia as a middle-aged man. And uh, most recently, a couple of years ago, uh, about six years ago, I had a staph infection, which also required a short hospital stay. But I had faith that I was in a safe place. I had faith that the doctors, nurses, and pharmacists knew what they were doing and that they never made mistakes. 
I had confidence that I would live to see another day. Because after all, the reason I was in the hospital to begin with wasn't life-threatening. And little did I know how dangerous a place any hospital can be. Now, let me just pause at this time to tell you that I'm not here to denigrate doctors, nurses, or pharmacists, or any other caregivers. I revere them. They have dedicated their lives to curing the sick and easing human suffering. They are overworked and underappreciated. They are also human, and all humans make mistakes. I have now learned from the safety experts that the overwhelming majority of medical errors are due to systems failures, and that these failures allow absolutely predictable error, human error, to occur. Just take a look at this clip.